I mean, outside is a little brisky, brisk, brick. It's a little cold, okay? That's it. Anyways, my name is Zakia Hutchinson, aka The Nerd Z, and welcome to my channel. Um, on this channel, you will find anything that's related to the brain, your beauty, and your bronze. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to winterize your outfits so you are stylish and still warm during the winter holidays. Now, if you like content like this, whether it's fashion, beauty related, definitely hit the subscribe button and um, share this with a friend or somebody you know who is coming from a hot climate and then moving to Canada and coming during the winter season. So these are things that you should have in your closet, especially if you live in a cold climate like Canada. <laughs> and if you go further north and start living in the other cities in Ontario or other cities that are going further north. So my first item to purchase is thermal pants or thermal gear, under gear altogether. So these ones are from heat holders and they are made with 100% polyester. So there's certain fabrics that are really great to wear during the winter, polyester being one of them, fleece is another, and wool. Those three, perfect, perfect. I purchased this one from Winners and it was about $20 for it. You could also buy um, a fleece like set for about $20 and it all depends on where you're getting it from. So but this is a really great item. Definitely have thermal pants in your in your whole thing. So number two, and obviously everybody would think this is super obvious, but socks. You should get thermal socks. Now the difference though is that they're not like your regular like socks, like your your ankle socks or you know just like your tennis socks or anything like that. So winter socks have a rating to them and i have a pair so these two pairs that i'm showing you are from winners i purchased these from winners and these were going for ten dollars the other ones were 12 and they have a thermal so these they're thermal heat socks so you guys are not just you know but they have a rating system called the tog system so the t-o-g and they have a rating of 2.0 for level of warmth so that is something to be um, mindful of when you're purchasing socks for the winter, their level of TOG. So these ones are two, these ones are 2.3. And uh, I was like, oh, I didn't even know socks had ratings like that, but it's good to know. But definitely invest in a good pair of thermal socks if you're gonna be living up here. Okay, so the next item that I would add on to the list are tights, and these are thick thermal tights so like I said there was thermal pants so these those go under your pants but this is for my ladies who like to wear dresses um, who want something a little bit lighter this is actually really good so these are fleeced lined um, leggings warm and cozy these ones are not footed because oh sorry they are footed so you can have it where it's enclosed or not enclosed um, that is your discretion so I picked the footed ones because I don't want to have to worry about my socks and everything. Plus, I would like extra protection and extra warmth on my feet because, you know, your feet are always going to be engaged in the snow. So that's the other reason why I would go for this. So my next item is a pair of gloves. They're from Club Rochelier. So this is genuine leather on the outside. So that makes it waterproof. And that's something that's very important to get. Make sure you get a pair of gloves that are waterproof, water resistant, because you don't want that cold feeling or the wet feeling of snow as it seeps into your um, material or into your gloves. Your hands are one of the first items to actually uh, freeze when you're outside. So you actually lose your heating. So your hands, your toes, your feet, your ears, and your nose are some of the first places to lose heat. So you want to protect them as much as possible. And they have a fleecing on the other side, right? So if this is one of the, for aesthetics, you know, like if you want something cute, you get something like this. If you're more for durability and everything like that, I got this other pair. So this was the Dockers. So these are the Docker gloves and they have modern technology to them to give maximum warmth. They advertise that they can go in negative 30 degrees 
um and that's what they can handle and keep your hands warm so that's another thing to be mindful of these ones are a little bit more durable you know they look more like this they're not as pretty as my other ones their fabric is doesn't say what the fabric is this is a men's um and this was going for twenty dollars so definitely got these ones um also got these at winter so everything i got here are from winners okay guys so far <laughs> so these are the two options so if you're looking for aesthetics definitely go for something sleek and slender but leather and then the other one you can go for a little bit more okay so the next item it's a little bit bigger but it's very funny because um because i'm from the caribbean i've seen and i've had family friends who come from the caribbean um come and experience winter here for the first time and oftentimes what happens is that they think that you know like snow is actually uh like what's it called it's mystical to them like they don't believe that it gets cold and they don't believe that snow is cold so i've met family members who would go out and they think that they are back home and wear whatever they want to wear and they think that's going to be okay for them to be withstanding the cold and it's like no or sometimes people will have somebody come and they think that they are already prepared when they're coming to canada or any of these cold climate um spaces or cities and and one of the biggest things that i notice everybody has a hard time doing is getting them a jacket so it's like definitely buy yourself a jacket, but you don't have to pay out of pocket. You don't have to pay crazy prices to get a very durable jacket. So you could actually go to Valley Village. You can get it secondhand. You can get it pre-owned. It doesn't matter. Um, you can get it thrifted. It doesn't matter. Getting a jacket, a really good warm jacket is not hard to find. So I actually got this thrifted and this is a co-op mountain co-op jacket it is a down jacket and it looks like this i'm gonna definitely show you guys how it looks on me but it's very very warm yeah it's mountain equipment co-op jacket very warm it doesn't have the hood unfortunately but that's okay i gotta i can get other stuff like a hat so um the thickness in it thick but it's actually pretty light at the same time so it's very light the insides i'll show you because some of my feathers are leaving so down jackets tend to be made out of of um feathers so get you something like this and trust me this will last you forever even if it's a short stay and you loan this to your family member who's coming from a hot they will be okay for the whole of winter biggest recommendation get yourself a down get yourself a down jacket that is my biggest recommendation especially if you're coming to um canada um down jacket down vest you know once you have those you have your thermals you have your gloves you have your your socks you have your um thermal vest your down jacket no one can say anything to you okay all right okay so the next item to winterize your attire is a hat so this one i got from winners as well this one was 14.99 it is a cotton and wool hat with a lining on the inside that looks like this now obviously i understand for my black girls this is a lot harder um and this one is the nicole marciano so nicole marciano is uh this is their her hat and this one is very warm like super warm you cannot go wrong with this one it is so warm so warm and if you have um just braids for example as a black girl this will keep your head so warm you're gonna start sweating for me this is my layer this is my like my layer to protect me and keep me warm it's actually very very warming so having the hat is just extra protection but on top of it it also sweats my scalp out which also helps my hair grow i'm not I'm not mad at all this is this is promoting hair growth and that's all that matters and keeping me warm at the same time <laughs> my next item it is 
guess you guess it boots so one of the biggest things to invest in aside from a jacket um a down jacket or a jacket that has a really great technology for you know heating and insulating would be boots booting so this is very important when you're purchasing your boots you want to make sure that the boot itself is rubberized <laughs> and a lot of it is waterproof um, because you're going to be walking in snow a lot so that's why it's very important and whatever salt is one of the biggest things that actually wears and tears away at your clothing and fabric and like everything even your car right so you want to make sure that it's resistant to salt and is durable during those um, walks and everything as well as water resistant and waterproof really you want to do more waterproof than water resistant because that means it's still going to get wet and when water soaks in during the winter it gets cold and something that's wet and cold do not feel great so do that as much as possible as well as be a weary of how it is lined on the inside so these ones are from tira they are combat the combat land operations boots and they are temperate so they can go in negative um 30 negative 40 type of boots this is what it was and i picked these for style but they're stylish and still functional and practical for winter the other brand that a lot of people wear are sorels sorels are also great they also come with a lining which is also nice which is separate from the actual boot those are also great to get if you can get liners for your boots that's phenomenal you have leather boots as well that's also a great thing because that's water repellent and all the other stuff now the other pair of boots that i have these ones are waterproof and they say it on the actual boot itself it says waterproof so because of that these ones are these thinsulate um 3ms and whose brand is this i can't remember but all i know is i got these second hand and again invested in these boots because i'm up here these are ankle boots instead of the other ones that go a little bit higher than the ankle which are a high top um these ones are very different so i'm going to show you guys why so one of the other things is boots these ones were laced up boots so i could always um, tighten it however to fit my foot this one however is styled differently so they actually have a zipper in the front if you guys can see this a zipper in the front but the tongue never leaves it actually is sealed in and it's stuck in there so you will never experience any type of leaking like the laces would possibly do because this just tucks in there and zips up just like that so the fact that this is definitely a waterproof designed shoe right here that's what makes it so good and this is something i would definitely recommend for a shoe especially a winter boot when you're going to find stuff right so find items like this so that is everything and some of the items that you should invest in to winterize your outfits and uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, definitely hit the subscribe button, share this with others, and comment below about other ideas that you would like to see. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. Later days, guys. Bye!